So this video turned out to be very interesting. I got one hand of acrylic nails done at an expensive five-star nail salon and later that day visited a one-star nail salon to do the other hand. I'm slightly traumatized from visiting the one-star nail salon like the hygiene was non-existent. I chose a really complicated nail art design and then compared the results at the end. I can't believe what the one-star nail place has done to my nails. Hello everyone, hi, it's Millie. If you guys watch my Dubai vlog, you know that I absolutely adored my nails in that and one of them fell off and then another one fell off and then another one fell off and now they um, look like this and I only have my thumbs on. Because <laughs> I started biting them and I really got into it and then suddenly I only have my thumbs left. Basically, I'm getting my acrylic nails done at an expensive salon that's rated five star on this hand and then on this hand, I'm gonna go to a really low rated acrylic nail place that's like one star. Go for quite a complicated design to really test that skills and look what I've done to my nail oh, I feel like they're gonna rip my whole nail off or something uh, can you see it there ow 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 something that I'm really panging out about is when I go to this lowest rated place and I ask them to do one hand and they see how good my other hand is are they not gonna know what I'm doing so I don't know how I'm gonna go about that or what I'm gonna say college project uni project I don't know how I'm gonna get away with this one to be honest so here I am at Cheese Nail Salon. I've gone here a few times over the past few months and each time I've been so happy with my nails. She's just so good. She is a bit on the expensive side though when you find out how much I paid for one hand of nails. I think you'll be a little bit shocked. <laughs> but um, the shape of those nails, how beautiful. The shape is like the main thing when it comes to acrylics and she is just so good at that. Also, they display their ratings on the wall. Like, they've won the top-rated awards for, like, every year since 2017 and five-star rewards. They've entered nail competitions and won them. Throughout this video, though, I'm really interested in your guys' opinions. So let me know in the comments, like, if you think that this is worthy of five stars and if you think the one-star place is worthy of one stars, like, how they do it and stuff. Let me know. I'm intrigued. Her nail art. Like, I described the exact shade that I wanted and she put all the colors on a palette and mixed them until I was happy with the shade. She is a genuine artist. I'm pretty sure she must, like, paint and stuff in her free time because she never, ever messes up. Like, one stroke and it's done. <laughs> lol i went for quite a funky little design like each nail was different just so we really tested their capabilities but um i got some smiley faces a little yin yang moment then one more time under the uv light and they were done oh i look like a bald eagle isn't that like uh oh no that's a different there's a different phrase um my bad my hair was greasy so i decided to put loads of gel in it and just slick it back but now my hair just looks like it's greasy and i put it in a bun I'm almost home, so I'm gonna show you my nails when I'm actually there, but I'm so annoyed that, like, I'm just gonna go to a bad place because these nails look so fire. Hi, quick interval. Look fantastic, have very kindly sponsored this video. It's basically an online website that supplies all of your essential beauty products. They sell literally every brand under the sun. It's literally the go-to place to get you ready for any occasion. Let me show you. Okay, so this is an overview of all the products that I got from Look Fantastic. Oh my God, these things, they literally cost like £1.50 but they are lifesavers. This is like the biggest life hack. So if you're doing mascara and you accidentally get a little bit on your eyelid, these things are hard pointed cotton buds. So they just really help you clean up any mistakes you make. So this is another one of my absolute favorites. It's the Pericone MD Tinted Moisturizer. The fact that this is a tinted moisturizer is the best I've ever used. Like, look at that pigmentation. But the great thing about it is that you can blend it out so much to like the shade that you want it but it makes your skin look so smooth and hides blemishes. When I was scrolling through the website, I came across the Style Pro, which is like a makeup brush cleanser, and I was so curious to try it. So obviously you can see this is a dirty makeup brush, and you have different size attachments you can fit on depending on the size of the makeup brush. You add your makeup brush cleanser to the bowl and then turn the device on, and it just spins so quick, but it means that it cleans and dries your brush in literally seconds. This is my biggest essential of them all. It's a CeraVe smoothing cleanser. I've used this for about a year now, I want to say. I used to have eczema when I was younger and I've still got like really sensitive skin and this just stops me from breaking out. Oh my God, I live by this razor. It has like gel on the outside of the razor, which makes your skin so smooth. And if you're shaving like down there, it's so, so good for smoothness. Just try it and let me know. Also, if you guys want to purchase any of the products I just showed you or you want to take a look on the website for yourself and find something different, I have my own discount code that you can use or you can click on the link in the description that'll take you right there.
The problem with London and nail salons is that there's just so many bad ones. I'll insert a picture of some nails I got once. I put them on my Instagram story. Follow me on there if you want to stay updated in my life. Just, it's a constant mess, honestly. Car got seized the other day. A lot of weird life updates happen. Sometimes when I'm driving, I get really intrusive thoughts and I just was at a zebra crossing and I was like, how would it feel like to actually run someone over? Like, what would the feeling be? Like, would it be a crunch sound? Would it be a snap sound? Is it just their foot that you run over? Or does it knock them to the ground and then, I don't, do you know, I'm not going to go into detail because it's just starting to get a little bit weird now. Not that it wasn't to begin with, but I'm just genuinely quite curious. Obviously, I'd never actually do it and I wouldn't even want to do it, but I just have those thoughts sometimes, like when I'm going 90 on the motorway in the fast lane and I'm like, what would happen if I just... Whoop. Can I just say the whole time that I was talking, there's like a massive sticker on my window and that is a note saying that my car was about to get seized if I didn't pay a penalty. I forgot to pay a parking ticket way back in 2020 that was £30. Then I had to pay £550 to stop my car from getting seized. They're the kind of life updates on my Instagram. And I just still haven't taken it off. Oh, look how pretty my apartment looks with the sun coming through. Hi, welcome back to my apartment. I don't know how I feel about this video now because I just got my nails done and I genuinely love them. Like the design and everything. It's just so cute and I wanted them on both of my hands. Look at me just scratching my hand. My eczema's flared up out of nowhere after 10 years of like not having it. Like I'm itching in the cracks of my arms, like cracks of my knees, back of my hands. What is happening? It started in Dubai. I don't know if it was tanning oil or what. If any of you know why, please let me know in the comments. So here's a nail design that I got. I don't know if I went too far with the nail art because when I go to this one star place, my worst nightmare is them saying we don't do nail art. I'm gonna try my best to get them to do it though. And the price that I I paid for this one hand of acrylics 80 pounds she is expensive to be fair she charges almost 200 pounds for a full set like crazy amounts hello i just wanted to say subscribe if you haven't already and if you're enjoying the video because you might never see me again and if you choose not to subscribe you'll get 10 years bad luck and i hope you get hit by a bus i'm joking i'm not I was deeping it and I was like, I'm so intrigued to go to this one star place now because the way that they do their nails, like she just does them so like unique in a way, like the tips and how flat she gets them and the shape and everything. It's the shape that is the main thing. And because I've been to so many awful places, I feel like what they're going to do is get them the same length, but they're going to be like curving downwards like this. Oh, like little claws. Rawr. Oh God. Anyways, I'll catch you at this one star place. My appointment's in an hour. Oh, on a real though, guys, I'm panicking a little bit. Like, when I go to this one-star place, what I'm actually gonna say. Oh my god, guys, I'm here, and I'm really nervous in case they know what I'm doing. Basically, I'm gonna say that I went to this place, she started doing my nails and said they were gonna cost £250 for a full set, and then I said that I'm not paying £250, and because she started, I felt too awkward to just walk out, so I asked if I could just pay for one hand, like, a bit cheaper, and that's why I booked and came here. So if she could copy it and do the other half, it'd be great. Oh, I didn't think this through. Okay. Okay, I'm too scared to go too close in case they see me, but this is what the place looks like on the outside. I'm gonna have to blur it, but it doesn't look promising, but we'll see. So I ended up using my phone to film because I thought it looked way too suspicious if I pulled out a camera. Um, I got given a middle-aged man to do my nails, and you know what? Maybe he was a fully qualified and trained nail tech, but... Oh my God, I forgot to tell him that I had a sore finger on that nail and he just took off the broken nail with that machine and it hurt so bad. And to make matters worse, he then made me put my fingers in acetone, pure acetone to like take the acrylics off, like my old acrylic. And oh, he put boiling water underneath the bowl. So it got so hot. It was drying out my fingers so bad. Like look how white they became. And I kept having to take my fingers out because the solution got so so hot you can see the bowl steaming in the back as well it was so painful then they changed what nail tech they gave me when they saw what i wanted done so i think she was the best in the salon at doing nail art and stuff but yeah she starts putting the acrylics on look at the claws I, I was like, oh my God, but she ended up fixing them a bit later on with filing. But it took her a few attempts to get the acrylic right as well because she kept wiping the acrylic dot, like the little blob off on the paper towels. You can kind of see the ridges there. Then she got down to filing and shaping and it took her so long to do this. You'll find out how long I was in the salon for in a bit, but oh my God, it took so long for her to file and shape the nails, but 
they didn't end up being too bad of a shape. This was what was facing me the entire time, this lamp, just for hygiene reasons, I guess, if you want to get a quick vibe of the place. Look how she did my nail art. Oh my God. She used the same thing that she used to file my nails down to do the um, round smiley face. I guess it's innovative, I, I guess. I'm not really sure, to be honest. It's one way to do it. Um, <laughs> she just kept getting it wrong and then wiping it off with her fingers and redoing it. And these were the results. Hi, it's the next day. I was in there for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours for one hand. I'm not gonna lie though, they didn't do an awful job. Like, it ain't bad at all. I mean, it doesn't match the other hand uh, anywhere near. It just looks like a B-Tech version of the other hand, I'd say. I'm gonna throw up the nails side by side and see if you can guess which is the lowest rated one by just looking at them. I won't label them yet. <laughs> Just out of interest. I feel like it's really obvious to see which ones are from the one star place. The problem with the one star place is that she started the tips way too high up. Like all the designs ended up being squashed. The thumbs are pretty symmetrical-ish apart from the tip being too high up and the nail polish just not being anywhere near as good. The index fingers. So I wanted a gold glitter outline, but she used silver and you can't see it at all. And the shade's ugly too. The middle finger, the yin yang finger, they messed this one up. Like I don't know what she did she didn't leave enough room to do the design but why are they side by side bitch have you never seen a yin yang in your life what i'm noticing as well from the one star place the colors just look dull like there's no vibrancy to them it looks like you've just turned the saturation down the whole way the one star place the clouds are like merging together and they don't look like clouds i don't really know what they look like and the little fingers the five star place she drew on the exact emoji and how it looks you know like the classic smile spencer has a rug of this exact face she literally did it spot on it still looks like a cute little smiley face but the yellow's ugly again and it just looks a little bit deformed i think that's the word i'm looking for overall the one star place didn't do a bad attempt at all but it wasn't cheap i booked it online with treatwell for a full set of acrylics and added nail art and the total price came to 35 pounds and then when i was there getting them done she charged me an extra five pounds and i said i only got one hand done like why is it an extra five pounds i already paid online and she said because it took them so long to do it, they go off time, which I think is fair enough. But also, like, it's not my fault that they don't have the capabilities to do it quicker. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not really that bothered, but moral of that story is that these weren't even that cheap. They were half the price of these ones, but they were less than half as good. Kami and Spencer are coming around later, so I'm going to get their reactions and see if they can guess. Oh, also, this is the first time I'm actually telling you guys, but I'm going to Dubai again in like two days. I go on Tuesday, and I think you'll be watching this on Monday. So I'll be going the day after you're watching this. Follow me on my Instagram to keep updated on my life, by the way, and how everything goes wrong. My car got seized the other week, bailiffs turned up at my door. There's just a lot of fun things that happen in my life that go on my Instagram story if you're interested. A whole mess. Five star place was clearly so much better, but the one star place was not bad. The hygiene in that place though, like that that's a whole different topic. But the nails, not too bad. So who's Anyways. ready for World War Three? You should do a video DMing Puta. <laughs> Puta. <laughs> I looked like Punta wait, Punta. <laughs> You thought I meant Puntang, I said Putin. <laughs> so, basically, today I filmed a video. I went to two salons. The f <coughs> Continue. Okay. I've only got a weird taste in my mouth. Let's try it. Oh, you're listening. Wait, my throat's dry. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm ill. I'm to me. ill. Yeah, sure. It was like a Barney. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling Barney energy, but my name is also Carmi, so it's like Barney with C. <laughs> <laughs> right. Carney. Carney? No! He said, he said Barney. Oh, no, no, you don't get it. Pinan yes, Son. I do. Carmi's with an N, bitch. You just don't know English. My second language is English as I'm Italian. <laughs> Speak Italian. <laughs> Buongiorno pasta, spaghetti. <laughs> So I went to two nail salons today, one of them the worst rated and one of them the highest rated. So you have to guess which of my nails are from the worst salon and the best one. So which do you think is the better hand? Okay, which wait, is when, the... wait, 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 is this running? Let me get that for you. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait don't say anything yet. Lowest, highest. Wait, for it. I'm gonna go lowest and highest. Well done! Yeah. 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 Oh, I was guessing, thank God. Really? Could not tell. She did the yin yang symbol wrong though here. Yeah, that's, that's the giveaway. Was give that the giveaway? Yeah. So now you're stuck with this for how long? Huh? They're nice. I just genuinely do not care enough to look at someone's nails. Yeah, like, can't what? Oh. Is it that deep? Like, genuinely. But I, sorry, I'm not girls. a girl, I guess, so I don't know yet. I think they're lovely, but I think it's a really big waste of money. Tell them, bro. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 